The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. Hello everyone, it's me Bing, I'm back to you with another video. This video is an update pertaining to the Passion Jeffrey and Taylor Mosley case. Before I begin with the new developments and my commentary, I would like to extend my continued condolences and support of the Jeffrey and Mosley family and the community as you continue to grieve the loss of a daughter, a sibling, a child, and community members. It has been confirmed that the judge in this case is giving prosecutors some portions of Thomas Mosley's medical records. As previously reported, the state had submitted a subpoena for Thomas Mosley's medical records in which the defense filed an objection citing that Thomas Mosley's medical records are protected under state and federal rights to privacy and should not be given to prosecutors. In addition, Thomas Mosley's attorneys have entered a not guilty plea on his behalf of two counts of first degree unaliving while prosecutors are seeking the death penalty citing the heinous atrocious or cruel aspects of this case as previously reported back in late March after a birthday party Thomas Mosley allegedly unalived Passion Jeffrey in her apartment with over 100 stab wounds. Once her body was discovered, authorities sent out an amber alert once it was discovered that Talon was missing. A day later, Taylor's body would be found in the mouth of an alligator. The medical examiner confirmed that Taylor Mosley was unalived due to drowning. In addition, Thomas Mosley is set to appear in court on June 12, 2023 for a pre-trial hearing. Again, it has been confirmed that Thomas Mosley will appear in court on June 12, 2023 for a pre-trial hearing. Now you will watch this brief news clip and I will be back with my commentary. A peep man charged with murdering his two-year-old son and the child's mother. A Pinellas judge ruled certain medical records for Thomas Mosley can be released to investigators. Now, this comes as his public defender entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. Mosley was arrested in the hospital where investigators say he was being treated for cuts on his hands. Investigators say after he was admitted to the hospital, they found the body of 20-year-old Passion Jeffrey in her St. Pete apartment. She'd been stabbed more than 100 times. After an exhaustive search, the body of their son, Talon, was found in the jaws of an alligator. The medical examiner says that two-year-old drowned. Mosley will be arraigned on May 22nd. While mental health issues is an element within this case, I want persons to understand, did Thomas Mosley have these issues before this unfortunate event? And if not, I truly believe the judge should have reconsidered 
giving prosecutors everything. The reason why I'm saying this is I don't want persons to weaponize mental health issues as an excuse to violating, dismissing, and harming their partners and children in the process. It is unfortunate that Passion Jeffrey and Taylor Mosley had to lose their lives to someone whom they trusted as a partner and as a father. If it turns out that Thomas Mosley all of a sudden developed mental health after these unalivings, then it is up to prosecutors to prove that these unalivings were premeditated and he's using mental health as a shield for jurors not to give him the death penalty. Once again, more than 40% of black women will experience domestic violence in their lifetimes. Unfortunately, 56% of black women will be unalived by their former or current partners. This is not the time to look away. This is not the time to be silent as we are continuously losing community members due to domestic violence. Domestic violence does not care about your zip code, your educational background, your marital status, or what you have in your bank account. It is unfortunate that when these events occur, not only is the victim impacted, but persons around them and their families and the community as a whole also suffers. I want persons to understand that domestic violence can happen to anyone at any time. And it is time that we speak up and expand on laws which protects persons of domestic violence and expanding upon having funds in place for victims when they decide to leave. Silence is no longer an option. Protect black women should be an active duty within our communities. Once again, I will leave in the comments and description below for organizations and hotlines as it pertains to domestic violence. In addition, I will leave in the comments and description below the Passion Jeffrey and Taylor Mosley Memorial GoFundMe. Protect black children, protect black mothers, say their names, known and unknown, justice for Taylor Mosley, justice for Passion Jeffrey, and as always, please be safe out here, and I will see you in the next video.